All right, here is the uh, the uh, Polycom Spectralink 8440, and uh, this is a this is a rugged uh, spill resistant. I think we can say Wi-Fi phone from Polycom. Um, we're going to specifically be use, looking at it and how it uh, and how it works with Microsoft Link today with the new 4.0.1 firmware and uh, but we'll just do a little overview of the phone first um, as you can see it, it has a very high res resolution screen um, very high resolution I'm not sure offhand what it is but it also has a rubberized tough body um, on the side here it has the, the volume the volume control also has a push to talk button it can act as a as a two-way radio as well and uh, you can charge it in one of two ways uh, first of all you can use a little USB plug standard USB I forget if that's a mini or what you call that but it's, it's a USB charge it that way or a cradle they make several cradles that I think one you can put a separate battery in the batteries in the back here um, so all the push to talk on the top there's a little red light not sure if you can if we can get that to come on for you here but um, also we have some soft buttons on the on the below the screen we have a rocker with the center select home back uh, pick up hang up and the, the numeric keys and also there is a headset headset jack there's for a wired headset it also accommodates uh, Bluetooth and uh, I think that's kind of the outside of course it has a speakerphone built in um, but the, the phone feels very nice it's, it's amazingly I expect it to be a little heavier than it is but it's it's tough I'm guessing that the weight uh, to toughness makes it more droppable and has a very the screen is tough you know it's uh, it's protected all right, then drilling into the Microsoft Link features, um, first of all, presence. Um, this this unit, um, when you're in a call, it will show that it's in a call. Um, also, you can set your presence by going profile, six, and then just setting what you want, like do not disturb. And now in Link, that contact turned to do not disturb. So why don't we put it back to available? But yeah, that's... Uh, two keystrokes profile six and then set it so pretty straightforward to change your own set uh, your own presence um, I'm not sure if you can change your note I, I didn't see that um, I I'm gonna consider this a first impression review haven't used it for super long um, and you notice the setting to go off the power the screen to turn off is to, in an effort I'm sure to save the battery which um, you know, I haven't been using it heavily, but it doesn't seem to go dead real quickly. Um, but that's a little off off subject. Um, and then, as far as contacts go, the main menu we have settings, applications, and that's there's an SDK to write your own messages and contacts. And if we go into contacts and IM contacts, this populates with your with your link contacts. It appears, and I think that's pulling from your link client. How uh, you have your link client set up, but you'll notice there. Um, it's not using colors, it's using the text. And why don't I just change Matt there? I'll change him into busy. Or do not disturb. And notice it changes on the fly as you're looking at it. So I'll change that back to available for Matt. And boom, it goes back. So yeah, you see you have, you have presence there. And uh, right from here, you can, all, you can add a contact by clicking add. We won't go through that, but you can do that. Um, and you can start an instant message or you can dial the phone right from here so you know, just click dial that's a link and you can hear it and we're answering so I'll just hang up um, also you can I am so I can go here quick note and maybe hit seven and you heard my other client pop up and I will reply 
and you'll notice the screen it, it, it's very high res you see you know pretty much what you see on link you get here and I don't think there is a typing indicator let me try that didn't try that before but I do not see a typing indicator but that hey this is a small screen but you know you get the time notice the time there um, you know who's time and date and then one of the things with the, with the IM you have this this quick this quick notes so you know you know I can just type six and it that shoots it goodbye so quick note whoops what did I do there instant message so quick note four a minute demo so it you know and I I didn't check this I'm presuming that these quick notes are definable I didn't check that yet but lets you or you can just type it so using not sure if this is called T9 but you know this so you can also then click send so I am is built in so I'm gonna let, why don't we do it this way we'll go in this way and we'll we will um, send a message and show you how the, uh, the note okay so there you see we have a notification up at the top here Whoops up at the top and it's also asking so we can hit OK and jump in there and uh, quick note 6 and there you saw how an incoming message works um, it does it seems to do peer-to-peer -peer IM pretty nice and I'm thinking even if the phone is in is in sleep mode if we just wait a second it'll go the screen will blank it'll vibrate and uh, come alive for you if you needed to. Okay, so now it's off. And it wakes the phone screen up and says we got a message and we can jump in. So, you know, for for a warehouse guy that needs IM, just basic IM, it uh, it, it does a pretty good I'm I'm impressed by how it handles IM. Got to say that. And it also does do voice over Wi-Fi. We we already demonstrated that. Um, you know, you can dial, you can dial a number, or you can go into your contact list, as we showed before, and click dial. And this is, of course, doing voice over Wi-Fi. Um, the device at this point is only meant to be working inside your network, not designed to go through the, uh, through your, through your edge, or be outside your network. Just to keep that in mind with the 4.0.1 firmware. And another thing that you know, you know, you have a warehouse guy that talks to a front desk or somewhere quite often. Well, you can go to favorites, and you can define some some quick ones. So I'm going to say four favorites four, and it's calling. So we'll answer that, and we'll just go over how the call control works. It works pretty nice. Um, once again, there some thought was put into this thing. So number one, we, you know, we can put a call and hold. And uh, it gives the kerchung hold to the the person that's getting put on hold, and you can actually go and make another call if you want to. For example, let's uh, let's go home, and you'll notice down here it, it says an active session, and there's active sessions that you can, and then you hit the back key, so you can handle multiple calls. But go back, there's our call. You can use the arrow keys to select the call and go resume. Of course, we have the mute. And you can see the indicator it indicates nicely up at the top there and then we have transfer so you can transfer a call and, and this is an attended transfer or you can go into features and get blind transfer or you can do a conference and we can put this into speakerphone but pretty night nice. once again um, maybe I shouldn't be surprised but I, I think the way it handles the calls the UI the user interface is, is just pretty nice for how it handles um, handles calls all right, and now messaging. So we were. This is the contact list. We're going to jump over here into messages, and this is where you'll get your voicemail. Uh, if you can see that, voicemail and instant messages. So if you hit if you hit one, now you can see how many voicemails you have. Urgent, new, and old, and you can click connect to call your link. John Smith. There you go. Please enter your PIN, then press the pound key. Right. So that that's how you get your voicemail and and your instant messages sit in here as well. 
And I just noticed that uh, green I am light. I wonder if that. I'm just curious. This is a, this is still first impression. Change that to red. Sure enough, it does change. That's impressive. Didn't notice that before. All right. So the presence when you're in messages, it actually has the little the little eye the little um, presence indicator there. But if you go view, you can go back to that I am conversation. All right. And then another thing. Now there's no video bill on this. There's no camera. It's not really meant to be video, which I that, that's 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 how it is. Um, and then applications. There's another nifty thing, and that is calendar. This and this integrates to the Exchange calendar. So if we go previous day, and I just backed up to Tuesday because I knew there was a meeting there. You can see there's a meeting. You can click on that and see the uh, details of the meeting. Now, and also if you if you have a new meeting, it'll pop up on this main screen, and give you a notification that there's an Exchange meeting. Um, so it also integrates the integrates the exchange there. All right, I think that is what I have related to link. Um, does presence? Um, does instant message? Does um, of course voice calling, accepting and making voice calls, um, and uh, looks pretty good. The UI I'm impressed by the the screen resolution is very good, and and the way the features are implemented I think are very realistic for someone who is not a super user to use. So there you have it, SpectraLink 8440 uh, used in a link scenario. Thank you.